Well, the, the, the rate at which AI is growing is it really boggles the mind. Yeah. Um, it, it currently seems as though the amount of compute dedicated to artificial intelligence is um, increasing by a factor of 10 roughly every six months. Um, it's it's fa faster than annual, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I've... I recently heard today about a gigawatt class uh, AI uh, compute cluster. Wow! Um, that's I think it's being being built in Kuwait or something to that effect, um, and it's a uh, like seven hundred thousand um, V one hundreds, which which is a couple generations above two generations beyond yeah, the one hundred yeah. that's currently in, in, in production. Yep. So this is a, a staggering amount of compute. Um, and, and there are many such such things. Uh, that's just the biggest one I've heard of so far. But there are there's a 500 megawatt installation happening. Um, there's, and there's, there's, there's multiple 100, 100 megawatt installations um, in the works. I, I don't, it's not even clear to me what, what you do with that much um, compute. Because... Um, when you when you actually add up all human data ever created, uh, you really just run out of things to train on very quite quickly. Um, like you you know if you've got maybe I don't know twenty or thirty thousand H one hundreds, you can train on synthetic data almost every yeah yeah you, basically you have to have to have synthetic data um, because. For certainly well under 100,000 H100s, you can train on all human data ever created, including video. Uh, um, and, it's not, so, so. and it's not just the compute, which is the major scarce resource, but it's also the number of uh, entrepreneurs focusing in this area, the amount of capital that's going into this area, uh, the amount of data available. I mean, it's all increasing, and it's all feeding on itself. And it's, so it's just you know hitting your point about the speed at which it's progressing is... Is the, I think the word "awesome" is is uh, comes to mind, or staggering. Yeah, it, it's it's really staggering, and and for sure. Um, so, so I'm just trying to give a sense of scale. It's I've never seen anything move this fast. Any of any technology, this is the fastest moving th thing. So, um, in in terms of aiming for AI safety, my my best guess of my sort of primitive biological neural mm -hmm. net is, is that we should uh, aim for maximum truth seeking mm -hmm. and, and curiosity. Um, that, that's, that's, that's my gut feel for this, for how to make AI as safe as possible. If the, the danger with programming morality and explicit it, it, with an explicit morality program is, what is sometimes referred to as the Waluigi problem. If you create Luigi, you automatically create Waluigi mm -hmm. by inverting Luigi. Sure. Um, yeah. So, um, so I think we have, we have to be careful about programming and you know, sort of uh, an arbitrary morality. Um, but but if, if we focus on maximizing truth with acknowledged error, that's that's probably I think that's the the way to maximize safety, um, and and also to have the AI be curious, because um, I think that you know Earth is much more interesting to an advanced AI with humans on it than without humans. Uh, I, have a, um, I, I agree with you. Uh, now, a, a, a interesting question: of Do you think vast intelligence with vast intelligence comes? Uh, significant empathy and respect for life. Yeah, I think so. Because that's the that's the hope um, at the end of the rainbow here. That uh, I don't want to use the word AGI. I'll use a super di a, a digital super intelligence as a as a term uh, with a digital super intelligence that is able to be more benevolent and support us. Because sometimes I'm not sure us squishy meat sacks can make it. <laughs> through our own our own uh, horseshit problems that we put together, um, so maybe there's a value there. Um, my, you know, I think on the whole, AI is the single most important technology we ever invented, and it is going to uplift all of humanity. 
I think it's what you said, you know, after post AGI comes abundance. Uh, I think it's the interim issues in the next one to four years, right? It's, it's not artificial intelligence, it's human stupidity. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, one way that AI could go wrong is if the extinctionist philosophy is programmed into the AI, mm. whether, whether implicitly or explicitly. I mean, probably not explicitly, but there's a strong danger of it of an implicit extinctionist philosophy being programmed into AI. Um, you know, and, and what would that look like? like? What would that look like? Well, like there's this guy on the front page of the New York Times. Um, I think about a year ago, um, he's head of the Extinctionist Society, and he was literally quoted as, there are 8 billion people on, on Earth, it would be better if there were none. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, so, uh, and, and if, you, if you take the extreme environmentalist argument, especially the, like the implicit extreme environmentalist argument, um, they, 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 there's an implicit, implicit conclusion that humans are a plague on the surface of the Earth. Um, so we, we, I think we have to be quite careful about, um, an, an implicit, like, like if the extinctionist movement was somehow programmed into AI as, as the optimization, mm. that would be obviously extremely dangerous. Uh, yeah. To say, the, to say the least. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, and it, but you know, there's, there's, there are people, quite a few people actually who, who view, Humanity um, as as a blight on the surface of the earth. Yeah, and we're we are coming down to there is the you know accelerationist movement, the decelerationist movement, the boomers and the doomers. Um, but I think people forget to realize or don't realize and forget the fact that you know uh, we romanticize the past, and the past life was short, brutish, and you were dead by forty. Um, you know, the life that we enjoy today is a result of the extraordinary technology that we brought to bear. Um, yeah. So, the, like, you know, Hobbes, life is nasty, brutish, and short. Yeah. Um, I, I actually I ha- I had a little Yorkshire Terrier once um, who was uh, nasty, brutish, and short <laughs> and, and kept, kept biting people. So I called him Hobbs. Um, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and I, I would tell friends that, that, that came over, watch out for the dog. <laughs> and, they, and they'd look at this miniature Yorkshire Terrier and, and laugh, and then he would then bite them on the ankle. <laughs> and I said, watch out. I said, watch out for the dog. <laughs> uh, you know, that extinctionist meme is the same sort of, you know, you discount it uh, until it starts um, – uh, being a mind virus, uh, in part, as you've called it, and it starts disrupting us. Yeah. Um, if you convince people that, you know, we're running out of resources on Earth, that there are too many people in the world, and the only way to survive is to have far fewer people, which a, a lot of people are believed to be the case, and like I said, if that if that somehow gets programmed into AI, and that AI becomes the most powerful AI, then we're in deep trouble. Uh, yeah, we need a counterforce to the population bomb. I mean, what an extraordinary uh, disservice to humanity. Um, yeah, that Alex's book was terrible, nightmare. Uh, or maybe the most anti- anti-human book ever written. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, the uh, but give people hope on the flip side here. Uh, those who are saying, again, going back to, I don't want to bring up my children, because I hear this all the time, and I'm sure you do too, in an age where AI is going to destroy us. So um, short-term problems, long-term problems, short-term solutions, long-term solutions. You said make it curious, make it uh, maximum truth-seeking, 100%. Mm-hmm. Um, I, is it okay to say that we're going to have issues in the short term and we're going to have to deal with them? Or do you think... There, 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 will there will be some issues. Um, I mean, essentially, at this point, no way to stop AI. It, it, it's, it is accelerating whether people like it or not. Um, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's why 
together with a number of really smart people, we created uh, XAI. Sure. Um, and, um, you know, ho hopefully, uh, you know, some really small humans will c continue to join XAI and, and, and build uh, what is intended to be a, a maximally truth-seeking and maximally curious um, AI.